Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for uh, the next three months, uh, July through September, quarter quarter three or whatever quarter it is. Uh, you have this fox spirit says think on your feet. You also have this bee spirit says sweet results await. Uh, yeah, really good time for you, Aries. I would be you know working on your you know wildest dreams or something <laughs> something like that aries something that you've always wanted to accomplish like now is the time i'm pretty sure i said this in your last weekly reading that i did and i i i really honestly don't remember what week that was i have i don't even know what today is so i couldn't tell you but it's the set before this one if you're interested but you know i think it's an amazing time uh, you know, specifically for you to work on some sort of dream or um, something that you, you know, to do something that you've always like desired to do or wanted to do. And that's what I'd be kind of like working on here. You're going to have to think on your feet, as that fox spirit says. I think that anyone who wants to accomplish anything right now, uh, we're probably not going to accomplish it in the way that we think. And uh, like, I'm not trying to be mysterious here, but I think that, um, you know, it's just like we're in this new world, we're in this new time, and so we have to kind of like follow our inspirations to accomplish our goals or dreams or, you know, whatever it is. You have the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles. You also have the Lovers here, so if you want love, uh, there could be a strong connection coming in for you. It could be a King of Cups type person. You know, it could be any sign. You have water, earth, fire here. You have basically everything. So, it could, you know, it could be any sign. Uh, but I would say it's probably like a heart-based person. You know, at, at, at his highest vibration, the King of Cups lives, you know, according to his heart and also his emotions. He's explored his emotions on a very deep level. And he is, you know, sometimes, well, let's put it this way. Sometimes King of Cups people can come off as having no emotions, even though they have very deep emotions, but they, the reason that they don't, they look like they don't have emotions is because they've explored them to such a deep level. They understand how to, you know, work with their emotions. Uh, I also feel if you, even if you don't want love, and even if you do, I think that you controlling your emotions is going to help you kind of attract the things that you want in your life and probably, uh, you know, create some sort of turnaround. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the area of the good stuff. Uh, you also have the Nine of Swords in the good stuff. And the Nine of Swords in the good stuff would also kind of represent a turnaround. The Nine of Swords is usually a negative cycle that we're experiencing experiencing in our life, and you could be bringing that cycle to an end. Uh, you have the Knight of Cups. Uh, Knight of Cups can, of course, be a knight in shining armor. I do feel a little bit of love here, especially with the lovers. So, you know, again, if you want love, sure. Uh, it's a great summer for love. So, you know, th I think this is true for all signs, but if you want love, I would get out of the house, you know, go on an adventure. You have the Page of Wands here. Uh, so the Page of Wands would kind of say that you will meet a person, you know, doing something, doing something fun. <laughs> the Page of Wands moves towards his enthusiasm. So what makes you feel enthusiastic? Is it like a hobby? Is it uh, going for a walk? Like, you know, what it, it doesn't really matter what it is. Is it walking around the mall? Is it, uh, you know, going out to eat? You know, all those things. Like I would go do the things that you love to do if you want love that's probably where you will discover like a knight in shining armor or a person that you're interested in the knight of cups is also dreaming so he's a card of needing to plant seeds towards your dream he is standing in front of this water and even though he's in the desert if he just planted seeds here they would grow so i think it would be an amazing time for you to plant seeds uh to you know get to work you have the eight of pentacles as well the Eight of Pentacles kind of tells me that you have already have been working and, you know, that you're about to get a result. Uh, you also have the Page of Pentacles here. Uh, Page of Pentacles could be communication. So you could be communicating or talking with a new person or, or you're about to be communicating or talking to a new person. Uh, the Page of Pentacles, to you, well, let, you know, again, let's put it this way. You go Page of Pentacles to Page of Wands. So this could say that you start talking to a person that leads to an adventure. And I kind of do get that feeling here where it's like, you know, maybe some of you, it's like the opposite. Maybe you meet this person online or something like that. And you start talking to them and then you go on an adventure to meet them. Uh, I didn't want to go here. So I want to clarify this first row. Uh, let's see what we have for you. Uh, with the King of Cups, you have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is like trying to protect your heart. And so if you want love, I feel the Two of Swords could say it's time to open up. She has those swords crossed over her heart. And there's this island behind her. And the island behind her just represents a different way. And so it says that, you know, you could be meeting a person where maybe you are used to a certain type of connection. And this person is completely different. Again, this, this island behind her is a completely different way to do things. And so I would stay open to, you know, different different ways of doing things, including love, but it doesn't have to just be love. It could be whatever. Uh, with the Knight of, uh, Knight of Cups, you have the two wands. Again, 
You're not going to meet this person in your house, sitting on your couch, unfortunately. So he is standing in his castle. He's standing where he has always been. The whole point of the Two of Wands is that he has to get out into the world right here. He's holding the world in his hold, in his hand right there. But the thing about the Two of Wands is like he's looking out into the world in front of him, but he's not like looking at the world in his hands. So I feel like you have the whole world in your hands here, Aries. But, uh, you know, you have to go have new experiences. I've been you know, really pushing fire signs specifically to go have as many experiences as they can. Even if you just like go on a day trip, if you just go get a new hobby, if you do something new, you know, the, go to a different restaurant, go to a different store. It, it doesn't have to be anything, you know, specific. You maybe, maybe you go for walks every single day, go the other direction, right? That is a different experience, but you know, everything you want, uh, you fire signs, especially you Aries is going to come through, you know, new experiences, doing things different. With the Page of Pentacles, you have the Five of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like both people need to open their hearts. So again, if you're attracting a person, uh, you know, make sure they're healed and also make sure that you are healed. The, there are two people that are left out in the cold here. Uh, this could be a good thing though, because I, you know, I kind of feel like, um, you know, maybe you're attracting a person who's been through something similar to you. And so it's like, they're not going to, and I feel like this person has empathy, King of Cups. So they're not going to do the same thing that, you know, your last person did. Uh, you have this uh, in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this clean it up card and this a leg up card. So you are being boosted up. I feel like you are being given a leg up in life. Uh, the clean it up card is about you kind of just cleaning up the energy. Uh, even the eight of pentacles, your first card here, the eight of pentacles, he's almost done with what he's doing. He has like one more pentacle right here to finish before he's done. Uh, but he has to kind of like look up from the work he has done and he needs to see how far he's come. You know, the whole point of the eight of pentacles is, you know, yeah, it's the card of diligence and hard work and putting in the work and it's a card of uh, mastering your craft as well. But I, I kind of get this feeling and I'm pretty sure I've said this to you before that you need to like zoom out a little bit here, Aries, and see just how much work you've been doing all along and put things into perspective. Why? Because maybe you're thinking you're not ready for something, or maybe you're thinking you're not ready for love, or maybe you're thinking you're not ready uh, to take that big risk in business. But again, I think if you see how much you've done, you'd be like, well, well, actually I've done a lot. So, you know, I think putting things into perspective will help you make uh, faster progress. And I kind of feel that here, especially going this way to the Nine of Swords, that, um, you know, that you could need to make more progress, or you are being asked to see that you could be making more progress a lot faster. Uh, you have the page of wands. I almost feel like this is you. Um, I kind of feel like you're just showing up as yourself <laughs> here with the page of wands. Uh, I feel like you're ready for a new adventure. It's like you're ready to do something different. I feel like you're ready to step off on a path because we go up here to the temperance card. The temperance angel has this path with this glowing crown, and this is called the uh, path to glory, and it just is the path to everything you want in your life. Uh, but the temperance angel could just get off on that path. You know, he, he could step out of the water and he could just start walking uh, towards that crown. And right now he is trying to perfect his situation. He, he is thinking that um, things are not you know, perfect. <laughs> and so that, um, the two of wands kind of says that you're waiting for a perfect moment. So I think now is the time to make a move. Uh, you have the lovers. Uh, definitely could be love. We've talked about it. Could be a very strong connection coming in for you. The lovers was traditionally a card of being at a crossroads, uh, having a choice to make. And I feel that you, you know, outside of love, but maybe also, you know, this could have to do with allowing love into your life. I feel like you have a choice to make and the lovers really encourages the new path, you know, picking the new choice or going in a new direction. And this could be a direction that maybe makes you feel like you're, you could make a mistake again with the nine of swords showing up here. But I feel like the nine of swords is saying, no, you're, you're not going to make a mistake again because uh, you have learned what you needed to learn from the situation the first time. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Cups. Yes, uh, divine counterparts right here. So I feel there could be a very strong, loving connection coming in for you. Uh, the King and Queen of Cups would be a very heart-based connection. So like I said, very like loving, um, you know, very caring type of energy. I feel, um, you know, if you haven't met this person yet, I feel that you could meet them this quarter. And it looks to me like there will be this, uh, like an, 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 almost like an intuitive knowing that this is your person. So like I said, I would go for it. Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the Four of Swords. Uh, I feel like you've been resting, relaxing, recovering. I do feel like you've been in a period of time, maybe the last like year or so, maybe two years, where you feel things have been slower and not progressing as much as you want. But I also kind of just feel that this is, it's almost like this is the universe saying, 
that you uh, that you needed a break. You know, I think the universe put you on pause for a little bit of time, and now you're kind of coming off of that energy, and you're ready to uh, take action with the Temperance card. With the Lovers, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is the best love card in the deck. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles is the tree of life. It is everything you want and desire in your life. And there is like a whole entire family, multiple generations on the Ten of Pentacles. So you could be really kind of forming a family with a person or uh, forming a connection with a person where you ha there are like multiple generations that are created here. Uh, I also feel that there is, you know, your money is going to be improving over this quarter. So I think that, again, maybe for the last two Two years you know i kind of feel like you went up before the last two years i don't even know what two years ago was 2022 maybe um so maybe you kind of reached your heights in 2022 and then you kind of came down a little bit over the last two years and now i think you're kind of like going back up with the ten of pentacles or things are going to be improving things are getting better. I would learn as much as you can. Ten of Pentacles is a card of like hidden or secret information. And so I sometimes I feel with the Ten of Pentacles that it's really a card of looking for information, uh, looking for ways to improve your business, your career, or whatever it is you do. Uh, next in the area of messages from your future self, you have this carpet that says advantages, uh, keen-mindedness, and longevity. You have a starfish that says cosmic energy, mystical awareness, regeneration. And you are, you have been regenerating, four swords. So you've been in this time of re regeneration, of healing, resting, relaxing, recovering. And now it's time, like there's a path, look at this. There's a path straight down to this star, just kind of kind of like on the temperance card, which I'll show you in just a second. So I feel like that you're going off on this new path. Um, I also feel, you know, that card says longevity on it, and I feel you are looking to build things in your life that last longer. Uh, who isn't? You know, but I feel like you're looking to build a permanent relationship, or you're hoping to build a business that can support you for a long time, or, you know, whatever the case may be. And so I kind of feel like you are doing that uh, with this energy. It looks really good. Uh, you have the Temperance card, the Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Again, like I almost just feel like you could just get on this path. You know, I, I feel like the Temperance card is saying you've been patient, you've been waiting, you've been perfecting things in your life, and now it's time to kind of like start the journey uh, on this path to glory, the, to get your crown. So it's almost like it's time for you to get your Aries crown, and you know, it's just time to get to work. Uh, you have the Nine of Wands. And so I feel like the Nine of Wands, and this card wanted to pop out, Six of Wands, card of success. So I hit, I hit that with my hand, <laughs> and let's see if it'll focus. But there you go. We'll put that to the side. And, um, you know, again, I feel that it's maybe time for you to kind of uh, open up a little bit. Nine of Wands, he's been through a hard time. He is the Wounded Warrior. He has those eight wands behind him. They represent eight different tries or eight different experiences he has had, but he still has one more wand. So I feel like it's time to try something again. I kind of get this feeling that some of you, you know, based off the Nine of Swords at the end here, that some of you are going to try to do something again that maybe disappointed you in the past. It could be love. It could be, um, you know, starting a business or uh, get it going for a job that you really want. Um, and I feel that some of you are a little bit worried going this way. Um, uh, you're a little bit worried about repeating a mistake or you're a little bit worried that you're going to be disappointed again, but really I feel like you're going to be successful uh, again. So I would go for it, uh, whatever, you know, especially if you're thinking about uh, giving something a second chance or trying again. You have the Nine of Cups. I feel like your energy has changed is what the Nine of Cups is saying. Nine of Cups is really about being in the energy of what you want. It's about getting a wish, but because you are in the correct energy. And I feel that this is saying that you have corrected your energy and now you can get what you want. Uh, with the temperance card, you have the temperance card. So there you go. <laughs> Basically, the universe saying I meant what I said. Whenever cards repeat themselves, I feel just you know confirmation for the message. With the nine of wands and the six of wands, you have the two of cups. Uh, definitely could be a person who is different than your usual type. Uh, two of cups is meant to represent uh, two totally different people. Uh, they look very different and you know, you know, they're meant to come from two different worlds. So you could be attracting a person who is otherworldly, or you could be attracting a person who was raised differently or comes from a different country or something like that. But definitely a very solid connection. Uh, two of Cups is also about communication with your higher self. It's you and your higher self. It would, uh, And we are in a, like a very spiritual time, so I think it would be a great time to like meditate, uh, pay attention to sign symbols, synchronicities, things like that. With the Nine of Cups, you have the Judgment card. Exactly what I said. Second chance. It's almost like this reading 
is a second chance reading. I think you're trying something again. I don't think anyone's coming back from the past or anything like that. I think you're, you know, if it's love, you're giving love another chance, so like probably with a new person. If it's business, I think that uh, it could be the same business that you've been working on, and you could just be, you know, uh, get breathing new life into what you're doing, or you could be reinventing it in some way, which I think we are, is it's a great time for reinvention. It's a great time to kind of, um, you know, clean clean it up. You have that clean it up card, right? So you could be kind of uh, changing the image of something as well. Like if you have a business, you could be upgrading how, how it appears, or you could be changing how it appears to people or, you know, potential customers or clients or whatever. And I think that would be a great idea as well. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this writer. It says, words are magic. Use them to manifest abundance. Yes, watch your words. You have this growing up card. It says, uh, relying on others to help you are hoping to be saved. Heal your wounded inner child to get ahead, which I feel like you would have done with the Nine of Swords. So again, a lot of you have been going through a, a period of healing, and now you're coming out the other side. The Nine of Swords is normally a never-ending nightmare. You know, the story of the card is that this person has had a nightmare. Now they're waking up and they're stuck in a nightmare. So, I, you know, coming up in the good stuff, it would say that you're ending a negative cycle or you are ending a period of time where you've been going round, round, round. Again, really, I feel like it's that dip I was talking about, like at the end of 2022, maybe things dip down. You've been like coasting along and now you're about to go back up again on the roller coaster of life. And so that's what the Nine of Swords is talking about. Uh, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, I definitely feel fortunes are turning in your favor. It's like, I feel there are more lucky breaks coming in for you. But again, it, I think that your answer to get these lucky breaks is two of wands. You have to leave a comfort zone to get the lucky break. Again, if you're doing the same thing that you've been doing every single day all along, then you're probably not going to experience a lot of lucky breaks. I, th I think the lucky breaks come when you push yourself, uh, when you leave comfort zones, when you you know try new things, when you do things differently, and that's what the Wheel of Fortune is saying. But definitely, you know, fortune's turning in your favor. You have the justice card. Um, I, I feel like you feel that your things are more even or fair in your life or that you are receiving more fairness from the universe. I also think that you are not looking at things as like good or bad. <laughs> you know, I feel like you are kind of maybe getting to that place in life where you're looking at things as just a lesson. And, you know, I think that's a good place to be because then it allows you to just move past it and le learn from whatever you went through. And now because you're moving, you're learning and you're moving past it, you're not continuing to just relive things over and over and over again like the nine of swords so it's almost like you've broken a little bit of a curse or a spell on on yourself and again this is good uh, with the nine of swords you have the chariot definitely victory coming in for you probably because you're setting yourself apart the chariot he's leaving the city behind him behind and he's doing this to set himself apart. He's looking for a, you know, new lands, a new place to be. And I feel a lot of you are removing yourself from the Nine of Swords energy and moving towards bigger and better things. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Nine of Wands, again, right next to it. So Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands. I feel the Nine of Wands is saying open up to new experiences. Uh, I also feel that if you're giving something a second chance, that this could be very lucky for you. So it looks like a great time of second chances. Uh, with the Queen, uh, sorry, with the uh, Justice card, you have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands about being bold, being assertive, uh, really going for what you want, and uh, not caring what other people think. She kind of has to do things without worrying about what other people will say, and I definitely feel that with the Queen of Wands. I also feel like you're very attractive at this time, Aries, so if you're looking for love, even your bottom card on the clarifying deck is the Lovers. So if you want love, I would get out there. Uh, you have this protection card. I feel like you're protected from taking a risk. So if you want to take a risk to you know, relaunch something in your life or redo something, now is the time. We have a bunch of retrogrades as well. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have a retrograde at the beginning of August uh, in Mercury retrograde. And we have Neptune retrograde, Saturn retrograde, uh, Chiron's going retrograde. So the list goes on and on there. Mars goes retrograde at the end of the year. Uh, so I think the end of the year is a great time. In, right now, starting now, is a great time to like redo something or give something a second chance. But it's not just about redoing it. It's about reinventing it as well. So you're going to have to, you know, let's say you had a business failure. It's like, you're, try again, but do try different things, you know, reinvent it, do it in a different way. Uh, next, you have this versatility card. Yeah, just uh, stay flexible. Uh, I think we're in a time of flexibility. So, um, you know, if one way to do something doesn't work, try something else. Uh, you have this restlessness card. 
you know, I think restlessness is one of the most destructive energies that exists. So even if you just do a puzzle, if you're feeling restless, if you go for a walk, I would like channel that restless energy into something because, um, you know, again, I, you know, I, I really can't explain it, but I, I was restless for a very long time in my life. And it wasn't until I started channeling it into something that I got the answer. So if we're feeling restless and we're just sitting around being restless, then we don't get the answers we need to move forward. But I feel like you could be getting the answers. You have this assertiveness card. This is you, Aries. So Sun in Aries, I feel that you're just showing up in a strong position here. Uh, and finally, you have this idealism card. Mm, I, I do feel like this is kind of like saying nothing is perfect. So, you know, allow things to develop how they want to. You know, if nothing will always go according to plan. And this is just saying be flexible. Stay flexible and you'll be fine. But this looks really good here, Aries. Love it. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your quarter.